Good afternoon all. I don't have slides to present, but um, I hope my voice can carry and that um, <clears throat> I can be very clear on what uh, I want to say uh, in this seminar. First of all, um, let me say that I've heard the presentation of the Barbados Light and Power Company, which is a member of our association, thank God. Um, and um, we objected strenuously as a group to the terms and conditions they proposed to the FTC. Uh, we had a group of members of Bria and other people who said that we took a different approach um, to some of the things they, made, they proposed, like the three-year limit on the RER and the five megawatt capacity and so on. So we're just waiting to hear what the FTC has decided about that. But basically, um, I like to reflect the concerns of the people who are actually involved in the industry. As I always say, this sector has the potential for changing the whole economic direction of this country. And I believe that very strongly, and a lot of members, we have over 70 members now, in, including some major corporations who've uh, decided to support our efforts. And uh, we applaud the government for its formulation and articulation of its energy policy. And we will continue to do so because we think that it is the right thing to do, given the circumstances. But we are concerned about the pace of implementation. And this is a reflection of uh, many of our members. And I believe that we could work with the government to encourage a strategy for implementation uh, of its policies. I think that's clearly where we need to go if we want to attain the objective set by the government in 20, uh, for 2029. Uh, so we believe that we need to have a strategic approach towards implementation. You said I got three minutes? Extra two. <laughs> and essentially, we are saying that we need to do that by looking at the organizational structure within the government, first of all, looking at the, uh, uh, the strategic partners that the government must have and embrace in order to reach this objective, and, and look at um, the legislation, as we mentioned. Um, we know that's coming. Uh, and William has said um, that it was due last year, I think. It was, uh, we, we hope it comes this year, because everybody keeps asking me now, uh, when is it coming? And we need to look at the, the IPPs, the people who stand to benefit. One of the things that I think we need to appreciate in this newly emerging sector is the potential for job growth, not only for an exchange service, savings, but job growth. Because every practitioner that I've talked to, even though they're not members of BRIA, can tell you the number of jobs that they're crea creating as they grow the sector. And I think that we need to focus on that. But basically, in my, in my summary, I want to suggest that we need to look at a strategy for implementation, looking at the organizational infrastructure that we have, and look at whether or not uh, it's, it's, it's um, meeting the objective and the set by the government for 2029, and look at the potential for the growth of jobs. Thank you.